We begin tonight with some heartbreaking news for a family in Lawrence. After days of desperately searching for a missing woman, investigators now say that Carol Flaz Burgos was found dead tonight and her neighbor is now under arrest. Thank you for joining us. I'm David Wade and I'm Lisa Hughes. The victim was reported missing on Saturday and last seen alive on Broadway Street in Lawrence. Her body was found 10 miles away at a nature reserve in Haverhill. WBZ's Julie McDonald is live with the breaking news on the investigation. Julie. Well, Lisa and David, you could really hear the disappointment in the voices of law enforcement tonight after days of using every resource available to bring this woman home. There were detectives from multiple agencies, digital forensic searches, the state police air wing and canine units on the ground. Tonight, there is some closure for Carol Floss's family, but unfortunately, this is not the outcome anyone hoped for. Cases like this really do tear at the fabric of a community. The Essex County District Attorney with Lawrence, Haverhill and State Police expressed their condolences Tuesday night to the family of Carol Flaws. The 37 year old Lawrence woman, a mother, was found dead in a wooded conservation area of Haverhill just hours before. She'd been missing since Saturday morning when she was last seen leaving her home. It is not a murder charge yet. He is in custody on a charge of witness intimidation with the charge of misleading an investigation. Police arrested 35 year old Christian Montero and do expect to charge him with murder once the medical examiner completes an autopsy. Investigators are still looking into what, if any, relationship the two had, but did confirm Montero and Flaz lived in the same apartment building on Broadway in Lawrence. After a multi day around the clock search and emotional outpouring from the community, investigators called this a double tragedy for the people who love her and those who share her city. Everything that we could have done to bring this to a better resolution was done. It's just an unfortunate end that we have to talk about tonight. And stay with WBZ as we continue to cover this story. We will be bringing you the latest from Montero's arraignment in court tomorrow. And law enforcement says they do expect that murder charge within the next couple of days. Live in Lawrence, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.